55 basically says at the end of its fiscal year, Berwyn Cleaners trial balance is as follows. So it gives us a list of the various accounts and the corresponding debits or credits for each one of those accounts. Now, what it wants us to do is the following information is also available. Let me turn up my light there. The following information is also available. A study of the company's insurance policies shows that $680 is unexpired at the end of the year. What our job is, is to, um, let me just go down and see what's required. We need to use the um, sheet you guys had. Adjustments affect one balance sheet account and one income statement account. For each one of the situations, show the accounts affected, the amount of the adjustment using a plus or minus, and the balance of the account after the adjustment. So the first one says, a study of the company's insurance policies shows that $680 is unexpired at the end of the year. Our prepaid insurance shows a debit balance of $3,400. If it's telling us that 680 is unexpired, then how much of that prepaid insurance is now expired? 2720. So what we will do is for 2720, Now, how do I turn it? I know I should know this. Oh, maybe here. No? Oh boy, I just downloaded Windows 10, so everything's a journey. Let's see here, oh. Rotate, darn it. Save as documents chapter or chapter five or chapter three problem five. Let me go find that. Should be able to rotate it somehow. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay, how about this? I'm going to create my own Excel. 
So here with prepaid insurance, Um, what is now going to change is prepaid insurance, okay? The, the account name is prepaid insurance, and I will make this much bigger. And the amount is a re reduction, a decrease of 2720 correct and the new balance is going to be 680 okay what else is going to change in that scenario insurance expense right balance sheet after adjustment of course is 680 and that's an asset. What is going to be affected on the income statement? Insurance expense, right? And the increase to insurance expense is going to be 2720. If we go back to our um, book here, was there an insurance expense on our trial balance? There wasn't. So what we're going to show is the, this is the balance sheet, and he, this is the income statement. 2720 is going to be adjusted, and the new balance in insurance expense is going to be 2720. Do you guys see what I'm, how you need to fill out the form? Okay, the next one says, an inventory of cleaning supplies shows $1,244 on hand. Our cleaning supplies show on this trial balance $7,374. So if we know the number really should be $1,000, $244, what do we need to do to get the cleaning supply balance to be that number? We need to subtract that from clean supplies, which is a credit of how much? 6,100, 6,130. So, we will do, with our balance sheet account, supplies, we are going to subtract 6,130, and that will make our new balance, what? 1244. On the income statement, what are we going to debit? Supplies expense. Sorry. Supplies expense of 6130 and what is our new balance? Was there anything showing up in the trial balance under supplies? So 6130 is our new income statement balance. Okay? Next. Estimated depreciation on the building for the year is 12800 Do you see on our trial balance, we do have an account saying accumulated depreciation building, 45600 Okay? So we need to show depreciation on the building for the year of 12800 So our balance sheet is going to be an increase in, excuse me, the accumulated depreciation of the building, building, 
an increase of how much? 12,800. And what will that make our new balance in accumulated depreciation for the building? 32,800. How many agree with that? You guys agree? The accumulated depreciation building has 45.6. So if we're adding another 12,000, it's going to make it now 50, 58.4. Let me see what it's doing here. Accumulated depreciation is 12.8, and the new balance should be 58.4. What is the in income statement account we're going to deal with here? Depreciation expense, we're going to increase that 12,800. And our new balance is going to be 12800 right? Does that make sense? Yes? No? Yeah. Next, accrued interest on the mortgage payable is $1,000. This is accrued interest on the mortgage payable is $1,000. So we're going to want, what are we going to want to show? An interest payable. The mortgage is just the loan balance on the mortgage. But this is the interest that we need to show. So we're going to show on the balance sheet an interest payable, and that's going up how much? A thousand. And what is our new balance of interest payable? Do we see, have interest payable on there already? No. So a thousand is the new balance. Okay. Does that make sense, guys? On the income statement, we're going to debit an account called interest expense. We're going to increase that $1,000. Do you see on the trial balance an interest expense balance? What is the new balance after adding this thousand? Twelve thousand is the new balance. Okay. How many of you guys have this so far? Okay, next one. On September 1st, the company signed a contract effective immediately with Hope County Hospital to dry clean for a fixed monthly charge of $400, the uniforms used by doctors in surgery. The hospital paid for four months service in advance. So on September 1st, they made this decision. What is our trial balance showing us? What's the date? September 30th. September 30th. So for 400 bucks a month, we earn income from dry cleaning. We should have something called unearned cleaning revenue of 1600 The reason we have that is because they paid us four months in advance. The contract was signed September 1st. One month has now passed. So we can take one-fourth of that money, or $400, and we've now earned it, haven't we? So we're going to go to the balance sheet and in the balance sheet, what account 
are we going to deal with? Unearned interest revenue, um, unearned, what is it called, revenue? Unearned cleaning revenue. And we are going to reduce that account by $400. And that's going to give us a new balance in that account of how much? $1,200. On the income statement, what are we going to show? Cleaning revenue? And that's going, that's going to increase $400. And as of September 30th, our cleaning revenue had a credit balance of $157,634. By adding $400 to that, what is our new balance going to be in cleaning revenue? 158034. How many of you guys understand that so far? Then F Sales and delivery wages are paid on Saturday. The weekly payroll is $2,520. September 30th falls on a Thursday, and the company has a six-day pay week. So they're basically telling us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And on Thursday, the month ended. So 2,520 is the weekly payroll of six days a week. We need to accrue for those four days in September. So if we take that 2520 divided by six days a week times four, what does that give us? 1680. So what is the balance sheet account that will be affected by reporting these wages. Wages payable of 1680, it will increase 1680, and our new balance is going to be 1680. What is the income statement account? Wages expense, that will also increase 1680. And what is our new balance for wages expense? I don't have that. 103010. Does that make sense, guys? How are you doing? Okay? How many have questions on this? You look pretty cool about this? <laughs>